What do you want to be when you grow up, Olivia? Um, an astronaut. I want to be a fashion designer. A basketball player. An actor. A doctor. A teacher. A chef. What do you want to be when you grow up? A mermaid. <laughs> do you know what a computer programmer is? Yeah, no. No? No. I think... No. Nowadays, just about everything requires some form of programming. So, what is it? When you're programming, you're teaching possibly the stupidest thing in the entire universe, a computer, how to do something. Programming is one of the only things in the world that, that you can do where you can sit down and just make something completely new from scratch, you know, whatever, whatever you want. It's really not unlike kind of playing an instrument or something, or, 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 you know, or playing a sport. <laughs> Coding is something that can be learned, and um, I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but, uh, you know, what isn't? Over the next 10 years, there will be 1.4 million jobs in computer science, and only about 400,000 grads qualified for those jobs. That's a shortage of a million people. So, how do you start? Okay, now you're going to press run. Next week, millions of students across the country will try their hand at an hour of computer programming. The whole school will be doing hour of code. Take an hour to learn more about the technology that touches every part of our lives. Computer science can unlock the best opportunities in the world no matter where you are. If you can change technology, you can change the world. And the computer programming, computer science, how to create technology, that's what we need to be teaching our kids.